All right, guys, and just posting a video to show some sample footage of the DVR dash cam, the mirror dash cam that I recently installed. I said I would. This footage is taken from the forward facing camera, and then I've put in the top right corner the footage from the rear facing camera. The unit doesn't actually record like this. What I mean by that is it doesn't record picture in picture, so to speak. You get two folders. One folder is full of all your forward facing cam video and the second folder is full of all the rear facing camera video. But I put the rear facing one in the top right corner just so you can see both at the same time it looks a bit better like this. But when you're playing back on your computer it doesn't look like this you're either looking at your front camera or your rear camera not both. Or not both at the same time anyway. So I'll post a few sample footages just so you can see what the quality is like really. Gotta remember it's a £30 camera, front and rear, I think that's alright, and you see the quality. You're not gonna make any movies out of this. The quality is well, you can see it's good enough. You want to re record incidents or accidents. Hopefully you never have any, but this is what it's for is to record the events. You can see the, the forward facing is 1080p, the rear facing cameras. 720 and as you can see I've just blown it up to full screen the rear facing camera is it's quite low quality it's low quality but again it's good enough you record the car hitting into the back here if that was to happen and as you can see it's good enough to record the number plate also I didn't realize until I was making this if you look it actually records the rear camera in reverse if you look at the number plate you're reading right to left it records it as though you're looking through the rear view mirror. And when it plays on the rear view mirror, or when you have it picture in picture, it looks naturally look. But when you just got the rear camera alone like this, you realise everything looks backward. So this is a little bit of footage driving the rain, just to see what it will like. Or just to show you what it will like. And it's pretty clear, good enough. And there's a rear camera as well. You've got droplets on the screen. Again, good enough. Good enough for recording incidents. little thing to know with this car of mine is because it's got real wash wipe you can actually clean camera while you're moving if you had camera on outside obviously they get dirty all the time really quick and you have to get out and wash it this it's inside so it stays clean so all i have to do is clean the windscreen and i'm cleaning my camera <laughs> just a little thing to know there's a bit of night footage for to see what it's like at night now this is a really well lit road, this is about as good a conditions at night as it can get really, so this is showing you what it's like in optimal conditions. Really well lit road. If you get on a country road where there's no street light in there, it's really dark. But again, it's about being good enough. You see on a well lit road like this, it's good enough. It just seems a little bit brighter or lighter on the rear camera looking at the screen go back to a bit of day driving now See, no problem filming the cars around. Let's put my foot 
down there, doing about 200 miles an hour down this patrol carriageway, you know, just cruising like. Incidentally, because this um, camera, it, it records in chunks, like a, a minute video, or two minute, or three minute of its continuous recording. I'm about to get th to the end of one video and start the next one, so you'll just see where it jumps. It's about to skip to the next video. There, did you see it? It's almost like seamless recording, it went from one file to the next file. What I mean is, if you had an accident just as it was jumping over to the next file, it's, it's not like it misses a few seconds or anything like that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope it helped me make a decision. What do you think the quality is like? Again, good enough. This is not 200 pound quality video or high quality video. This is a 30 pound camera for front and rear. I think the quality is certainly good enough for 30 pound. It's not high def or anything like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give it a like if you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Cheers guys, thanks, bye.